Today we're going to be unboxing the System Sensor R10E. This is a relay module, um, and it's not addressable like the one you saw in my last video. This is just a plain relay module. I have already opened this, but I'm just going to make a video on it anyways. So we can go ahead and open up the packaging. And there's a bit of foam on the top of it. Now this reunit is actually surprisingly heavy. Um, even though it is made out of metal, it's a little heavier than you think it is. Here is the relay itself. And there's just some more foam in the box, but that's it. Now the next thing we have to do is use a screwdriver to unscrew these two screws in the top of the unit. And before we open it, as you can see there's a light. I'm pretty sure that light comes on if the relay is energized. There's some vents on the side. I'm not really sure how hot this thing gets, but who knows. Um, there are four mounting holes on the back, and there is a half inch knockout on either end. And there are no other knockouts. You could probably drill a knockout in the back if you needed one, but it would be quite hard to drill one on the side. But I do wish System Sensor would have made this flat right here so that you could put a knockout right here if you wanted one. So we can go ahead and slide this cover right off. As you can see, there's no labeling or anything on the inside. Here is the manual. And it shows all the specifications for the contacts. Here are another set of the exact screws that hold the lid on. I'm pretty sure these are for mounting. Um, because the threads will probably wear out before the screws to, to put the cover on. So I'm pretty sure they're just assuming you're going to mount this to sheet metal or something. Um, the screws might work on wood too, but they, I'm pretty sure they're sheet metal screws. And here's the relay itself. As you can see, here's the circuit board. Now, one kind of weird thing is it has four, you can see there are four posts in the enclosure to mount it. And there are only screws in two of them. And the other two, there are missing screws, and I did get this sealed. So this is how they come. So I'm not sure, I mean it does seem pretty well screwed in there. It's kind of weird, but not really a problem. Now here are three contacts here. These are your relay contacts, so you're common, normally open, and normally closed. Now as you can see, you can get this in a dual relay, um, but this is just a single relay. And here are your power options to power it up. Um, now this is a multi-voltage relay, so it can actually be powered off of 18 to 24 volts AC and DC and 115 volts AC and 230 volts AC. So basically this thing will work on all the standard voltages. So you can just put the power in there and as soon as it receives power it's going to close the contacts or open the contacts depending on what you're using and that will change the state of whatever is hooked up to it. Now I got this to actually control a furnace and that's a pretty common usage of these relays. They're meant to be paired with something like a CRF 300 relay module to allow it um, to allow it to uh, handle more current to control bigger devices. Now, in a really big application, you would even hook this up to a contactor to control like a big ventilation fan or something. And this can do around 10 amps at 120 volts and probably more at 24 volts DC. But if you're planning on using this, though, please look up the manual on System Sensor's website just to verify. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.